Hey guys, happy Wednesday. It's layout update time. Yeah, you heard right. Layout update. Not uh, We're not going to be running any trains. Sorry. <laughs> it's layout update though, though I should say. But hey, uh, you know, it's a small layout update because, you know, things go kind of slow over here. But I wanted to talk about something. I wanted to talk about prototype versus freelance, which, uh, you know, if you're familiar with my railroad over here, it's a, I like to call it someplace in between there. It's based on the real world uh, up lines and uh, leads and all that industrial leads but we got to take some uh you know uh what do you call it? liberties and uh you know kind of compress things uh move things around make things sort of our own and uh you know not really be a stickler for you know being exactly the way it is in the real world the exact prototype now uh not that that's a good not a good thing um, to do that, it's actually really cool if, you, if you're into that. But, but, you know, it just depends on, again, what you're into here. So, um, I kind of selected my layout uh, to be someplace in between. Well, because, uh, you know, it's not that I don't enjoy making things prototypical. And by that, I mean like the scenery and everything, the sort of locations and the buildings and all that kind of stuff. Um, I was going a little bit more into, uh, I wanted to capture the feel of it. And, uh, you know, I've read a few articles. I was reading, uh, you know, Model Railroad Craftsman. And I, I read kind of the same thing where people were, people's layouts, the ones that they featured, they, they wanted to capture the feel of the location, not necessarily the absolute perfectly, you know, measured scale to the, to the, to the inch sort of, uh, you know, industry or something like that, whatever it was that they were, you know, they were modeling. And that's, that's the way I've always sort of, you know, played around with my layout here and, uh, you know, just kind of had a little bit of fun, moved industries around, you know, made little industries up and stuff like that, that sort of made sense in the, you know, in the grand scheme of things here, you know, like, Sanford and Son Salvage here, which has been perpetually in uh, uh, construction mode over here. <laughs> it's always it's always a junkyard over here. It's no, nothing's ever finished, you know. Um, and then uh, you know, little locations like this, like my uh, riding ring over here, is totally not in the right spot. But uh, there is a real you know Anaheim Hills Saddle Club right there. You can see on the sign. And uh, but I thought it was uh, you know it was a nice little uh, kind of captured the feel of the location you know, in between the, you know, the junkyard and then, you know, the nicely manicured, uh, you know, little writing ring over there, that sort of thing. And so um, I'm kind of continuing that on over in the the new location over here. Now I'm modeling uh, orange or, you know, Santa Ana. Now I think it's officially called the Tustin Industrial Lead. And uh, we're kind of running down to, you know, we've got four industries over here two major ones, two background sort of flats, just to add uh, a little bit of interest and a little bit of switching uh, sort of opportunities here. And if we scoot down over here, uh, one of them was, uh, one of the main industries is called Westpac. They make uh, drywall products. So drywall paste, drywall plaster, you know, that sort of stuff, stucco, whatever the, the heck that is that they make. And uh, what I'll do right here is I'll kind of, I'll post in a couple of a uh, couple of real world images of what the location looks like um, but uh, there's a couple key things that I wanted to model here and I'm not modeling it prototypically and as you can see I've actually picked up and started working on one of the kits here um, they've got sort of silos big silos and stuff like that where in the real world I think they get hoppers with whatever stuff they take the hoppers unload them and then uh, move them, you know, process all the stuff that they get, make the drywall paste, whatever. And, and then they transfer it to either, you know, more hopper, more hoppers or transfer it to actual trucks and stuff like that. Well, I don't really have the space here and I don't have the patience and I don't have to do it totally prototypically. And, uh, you know, I couldn't really fit everything in. So... What I ended up doing is uh, I got this. I got this Walters kit, the Glacier uh, Industrial Sands, you know, kind of kit right here. And I'm going to make that into my Westpac over here. So I just started building that. Here's the first uh, little piece of it. It's a, it's the tower section here with the two silos. I just got this kind of put together the other day. 
and I just got the first coat of sort of primer on it. I just happened to have primer that was, uh, well, kind of cement looking. <laughs> so, so I sprayed it all up. And, uh, but basically this is going to be a little bit wider that like, like I said, I put the videos right there of the real world place and, uh, it's white, you know, so we're going to kind of try to do that, but we're going to use this and along with a lot of the other buildings that come in the kit and we're going to make this entire little area, um, you know, something, something along those lines where, uh, you know, it's close enough. It's not going to be the exact thing. I'm still going to call it Westpac, but, uh, um, that's what this industry is going to be right here. And so kind of jumping back a little bit, there's a couple things about when I say capturing the feel of it there was a couple little things that in the location there that uh, you know really stood out to me and actually i'm going to say three things now one of them was a little kind of v-shaped area with a bunch of trees in it i know that sounds pretty simplistic but it's very distinctive for the location and so i want to try to model that um, and so this little area right here is what's going to help me do that. And it, at least in my mind, when I'm going to look at it, when this is all done and everything, I'm going to be like, that looks like Westpac over there on the, you know, in orange. Um, and then this location here, even though, you know, the track layout isn't exact, it's nowhere near exact, actually, the, the main line runs through the industry and then there's a trailing spur next to a building where they drop stuff off, right? They drop off the hoppers and stuff like that. But it's characteristic of all of these little, you know, like you just saw, uh, little silos and things like that. And then I'd say the third thing is the little street crossing over here with my uh, yet to be decorated little building here um, that really struck me with the pine trees and there's pine needles all over the place on the street and over here. Those are the kind of the three things that in my mind uh, sort of define this little area that I'm modeling here and again just because of you know my uh, attention span uh, not so much ability because I, I I think I have the ability I have the skill set to uh, you know uh, make it prototypical but I just don't have the desire to do that you know and uh, so you know there's always that people say there's stuff that's good enough is it good enough you know you can make it perfect but yeah, you know, uh, it's going to be a lot of work and, uh, you know, and if you're, unless you're really into doing that and that's what you want to do, fantastic, go for it. Um, but I think the majority of us are sort of satisfied with good enough, you know, or a lot of people that do model railroading, they might not have that skill set. They're not, they might not be very good model makers or, you know, um, you know, building scratch building stuff, you know, some are, but I think the majority of us aren't. The majority of, of us just uh, want to run the trains and we want to kind of make it look halfway decent, right? And so that's where it's like, don't feel bad that you're not, uh, you know, I don't know, winning some huge prize or something or getting it absolutely perfect because, uh, you know, we watch uh, different guys on YouTube and stuff like that and there's a, there's a lot of them and it's like, it's fantastic watching guys that are very skilled like that and can do that. And it inspires us to kind of go out and try a little bit and, and maybe do, you know, push, push ourselves just a little bit. You know, we're not going to get to where they are, but we're going to try a little bit. Um, and that's a good thing. So I, but uh, it was kind of give you an idea of where I'm coming from here. So this entire location right here is going to be Westpac. I'm going to go back and uh, continue working on my little building there. And then we'll start spraying it up. Not even quite sure how I'm going to configure this over here yet. I mean, track-wise, it's it's set, but I mean, I got to kind of get buildings in here and stuff like that. But I think in the end, when I'm all said and done, it's coming together in my head as a vision of kind of what what I want it to look like over here. And uh, and then we'll move on, you know. And then then we got to move on to our, some of the other buildings here and some of the other locations right over here. Uh, including our, our other large industry, which believe it or not, is just this box right here with one track, unfortunately. And that's a, a FXI, um, which I forgot what the heck they make mattress. They make mattress stuff. I don't know if they make like the foam stuff that goes into the mattresses, that sort of thing, because they get a lot of, they don't get box cars, they get a lot of um, tank cars and they use all that chemical stuff to, you know, spray out, you know, foam for mattresses, that sort of thing. Anyway, guys, I think that's it for right now. Just a little chit chat here about the sort of my philosophy and uh, 
you know, I, I don't do a lot of layout updates unless I've actually got something to, uh, you know, show and I finally, you know, manage to uh, put together a little bit of a kit and start kind of making a little bit of progress over here on the new layout. That's where I've been focusing all my attention, sort of trying to get stuff going over here. And so I thought, let's have a little discussion about, uh, you know, this ain't perfect, but it's good enough. And uh, so just have some fun with your layouts and, uh, you know, just make them good enough and enjoy what you, what, what you can do and what you do have. All right, guys, that's it for now. Hope you enjoy this little chit chat and uh, we'll be back to running trains on uh, Friday. Have a good one. I'll see you then. Take care. Bye.